Hello everyone and welcome back to N1800 Mega City. Welcome back to yeah, a new strategy of Miss Hunt that she's trying now. She's trying now to disrupt my trade routes. Now until up to this point, she was trying a, a direct attacks on my on my islands and cities, and now she's actually gathering here. I don't know why. It's the the center of my most or my high traffic trade route area, right? So where uh, basically. Catastrophe and Crown Fools are coming together, plus the New World trade routes are coming in as well. And she's blockading this now with her ships. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get some of my, my ships here a bit further out of the way. And or we are going to stop the trade routes. And my main fleet is already on its way. Uh, we do have some more ships. Let's send all of them. This one is almost fully repaired. Also down here. So I would like to, to gather them all to crush her completely, hopefully once more. Um, whatever comes first. What is that? She's, she's doing it again. Yes, she is, oh my goodness, another devastating airship attack right on Cataster. Almost dropping the morale to the white flag there. And now she's starting to mobilize her fleet. I think she's attacking Cataster now. And yep. Yep, they're now going for Catester. This is interesting. I love this strategy. Uh, the AI is using airship attacks before they move in with their uh, main fleet. That is really cool, actually. I mean, it makes the whole thing a bit more difficult uh, because the morale is already gone so much now. And why are you turning around exactly? What is going on here? Please. Yep, they're attacking Catester now. They're on their way. We need to be there as well as quickly as possible. Catastrophe is now damaged. I cannot repair those buildings until the, the siege is over, right? So at the moment, that's a pretty, pretty devastating problem here that we have. And... Holy cow, they're fast. They're almost, they're almost over there. Yep. Can I still do something here? Mm. Let's try to get us a cannon tower in here. One I was able to do. The second one, uh, we do like some weapons for that. But at least I do have one more. That is boosting the morale a bit. Where's my ships? Bye. This can't be true here. This can't be true. They're stuck in the in the stone in the in the, the, the cliffs here. Stations. What is going on? Alright, I'm trying to stay positive at the moment. This is looking devastating though. We can't afford to lose Catastro. Come on. Get over there. Morale is crumbling. My ships arrive. Might be too late. Let's try to, to get them over there right away. Oh my goodness. This one is still training, so it's still going to take a while. Morale is now critical. But I think they're backing off. This is Spenta. He's definitely backing off but i'm still going to try and take them down oh my that was that was close once more problem is i still cannot enforce more harbor defenses i'm totally out of influence this problem will get solved eventually once i get the investors but right now there's no way one ship down yeah they're slowed down right now because they're close to the coastline and i can still try still try to do something there. All right. Harbor Another harbor is under attack. No. Yeah, they can now attack. By the way, land building. So Ship that was that. Attack. Not really problematic. I think she's just trying to, to get the island morale down to the white flag, but I think that's not going to happen anymore. There is no other mishunt close by. Very good. We're just going to take them down here. Holy moly! Once again, very close encounter. Once again, we were a bit lucky there. I do still have my defenses here. Very good. Two ships. So just in case she tries something here with that warship. And this one is down now too. No loot. Ah, church tax law. 21,000 credits. I'll take it. Absolutely. I'll totally take this. Alright, let's get my, my ships down here into the center again. Close, but nothing lost. A bit of damage here. Let's activate the trade routes again. Going to lead to a bit of a traffic jam here in the, in the harbor area of Catester. But other than that, we should be fine. Bit of damage there, of course. 
and I will repair those depots then shortly. We have lost now the storage though, right? So we're down to 150. Um, once I repair it, of course, it goes up again. And any kind of good that was stored in these houses, because there's physical goods in there, right? They get restored again as well. That is that is what, what's important here. Uh, my fleet, let's get it a bit further into this area there. So with this, we can reach every island of us quickly. And I don't see any other bigger force right now. Oh, there's also probably an airship attack here in Shodex because those... Those fisheries were down a bit. And in Crown Falls, it's all looking rather That's fine for now. We got 13 influence. I'm going to build another heavy warship, a royal galleon with that. Not a harbor defense, because ships are just more important right now to us than what we what we otherwise want. Aye. In the meantime, we have more building materials again. Actually, we're rather cappy on the on the timber. So let's go ahead and upgrade. Uh, we do have the bank, of course, and I would like to continue using as many in uh, engineer buildings as possible to that bank here to maximize our profit that comes from it, right? So down here we still have, oh, there's also some peasants here that we can upgrade now. And then a few more engineers. Every one of them counts for quite a lot of, of money right now. And probably also this whole district there, yeah. That feels good. Lots of those people. And we got a lot of resources to upgrade more farmers. We should be doing this. And probably, probably, let's check it out. There we do have a few more here, close to the industry zone. These guys can now all be upgraded. Very good. Something that we need. Eh. And those guys. One, three. We still have some resources left. One, one. Money is at 15. Of course, it will continue to climb. There is a few more hiding. And there as well. Step by step. And also, those workers here to artisans should also do some nice job there to my taxes. Closer to 20,000 now. There were a few things that we've prepared in the last episode. One of them, I think, was the coffee. And the first three tons would be in now. That's, of course, not enough. More coffee should be coming soon. Let's have a quick look at Diplomacy once more. So once again, Hugo Absolutely. would be 100 with us. Alliance is still not possible. We should really start with those quests here soon. So I can um, I can ask for a quest. Oh, he doesn't have one for me now. All right. We need to wait there. Bente is at 47 already. So we are further deteriorating with her with her influence on us. That is also not that great. We could try. Uh, she wouldn't even go with a non-aggression pact. Not good. And Miss Hunt, of course, is... Further away than ever. She's untouchable. Uh, and Harlow, I mean, not that we really need her. Sean would be better. I'm improving our relationship with him a bit. Also, Dorothy is coming in now. Uh, with um, with quite a lot of weapons there. Some bricks and some steel beams. Oh, Hugo. You dare taking one of my shares. Speaking about shares, we do have some money at hand there right now. I could try. Six minutes. All right. It's too close. Seven minutes. We still have to wait. There we go. A few more building materials. And if I had the uh, the influence now, we could continue building more, more harbor defenses here. I still have to wait a bit on that. Let's go back. I think, yep, the siege is over. Let's rebuild the storages. Let's rebuild the fish factories. And I'm also going to upgrade my trading post here to withhold a bit more. taking a bit more damage than what's possible. I'm going to keep one of my ships here in the region, just in case, right? We have some rights because of the low morale, of course. Other than that, we should be fine. There's also now a shortage of goods, but that is also to be expected when it comes to uh, when it comes to that. Let's boost my iron and coal. We can do this. Barely any penalty there. Even though, of course, those people are not so happy. We do have schnapps and beer, though. Yeah, we do have everything. They could ask for. Could I think down worse. here, there's also a pub close by. Really, they have nothing to complain about. Yeah. Fleet okay, fleet orders. can stay there. There's actually a trade ship here. Yep, there's a trade ship here that I've locked away on. Uh, not very much on purpose. Attention for the Admiral. Another thing I would like to add real quick or have a look at is the lifestyle needs. Some of you have been pointing this out already. Um, and in that case, yes, we could enable some things here. Let's just check it out. Soap we have, for example. So we could unlock soap as a health good. This would give me five engineers more per building. Let's just see how my, uh, my consumption increases by that. Right now we have a, a demand of six per minute, right? And by unlocking this one here, we do have now a demand of 21. 
No, I cannot do this. This quadrupled my demand for soap. You serious? For five people per building more? I'm not doing this. This is ridiculous. That ratio is completely off. I'm not doing this. Um, let's check out something else. We do have our sexy artisans. I, I love this building. Sexy. And with that, we have wool. Wool is only two artisans per building. Clay. Clay gives me 15 coin in addition per building, plus two artisans for a bit of clay. Let's check it out. My clay deposit. My clay demand right now is 12 per minute. And with that, let's go ahead, unlock it. And we do have now 16, so only 4 tons more per minute. That is totally acceptable. Let's go ahead with this. And as we can see, my balance is going up thanks to, yeah, people using clay in their crafts so they can now make their own pottery or whatever this last one here the papers we need from africa then later on so right now let's use clay this bumps it up there actually to 28 29 probably even 30 that is exactly what i would like um the only thing we might need is tone down on the the brick production right so i'm going to reduce this um we only keep the bonus now on the the clay and this leads to a total balance here now of a demand of 12 and a production of 12 perfect i have enough bricks anyway right so bricks has normalized now with the production of that speaking about it we do have a lot of workers that would upgrade and i'm actually eager to do this let's just check it out i think over here these whole districts here we could upgrade what i can see here as well that is we are still missing is a church very important actually to provide it we have a, a at school over there but we don't have a church for this whole area right also it's missing here i think we only have one church in total in the whole of crown falls two we have all right there's one so we should have at least one more here let's do it actually for uh, this tiny area so just coincidentally i do have some space available close by <laughs> and we can have the the church then here it's just fitting in as well nicely let's use one that we haven't yet haven't used yet Ah, that's the standard one. Not looking bad. This one we haven't used yet. It's an old church-looking building. And it's looking truly majestic. It even has palm trees in it. So it's totally fitting in, I guess, to my usually trees. Anyway, we have the church. We have more happiness now. Um, this is one good thing. And the other one is, of course, yeah, we're going ahead. And we're just going crazy with this. Boom. A whole row of more artisans that we have. I think we can also go here, these guys, that we kind of like create this connection there. There is a few more workers here, right? Do this, and then a few more here close to that church. So they all also receive the maximum bonus that they can get from the church, and with that also some money. Let's actually keep these artisans there for once, right? I mean, I do have a nice... I actually do have my favorite Ship one. Under attack. Let's use this one, after all. We should keep it together here all right down here that's just a ship passing by nothing major happening from miss hunt right now still a lot of ships of course but no one of them none of them is actually on the move to us um let's build the other cannon tower here because we have received some influence again that i would like to use 34 on the on the income there's a lot of money flowing in right now one more minute i should not forget about about those shares also we got 81 coffee now in that's good let's unlock the coffee for my engineers that means more people now moving in and also of course more money another good is filling up and Work then there is the whole penny farthing thing now i have built in the last episode those culture plantations right and so the they're side, they're slowly starting to work since i have more money let's build a few more let's build three more it's costing me ten thousand per plantation so they're not that cheap Initial cost, but now, of course, we can afford it quite easily. So we're close to 40,000. And with the couchuk, of course, we can then start our penny farthing production. However, what I need for that first is electricity. And that I should provide. In order to get electricity going, I do need an oil harbor. I also need um, to get rid of these, these guys here. I would like to have the oil harbor in that area um, coming in. So I'm going to move the, the sand mines to another location. And that's mostly down here right because this coastline i haven't used yet um and the other thing is that we can do here is i can get rid of them again at some point because i have my docklands and raw materials are just very easy to replace in the docklands that's what i would like to do then as well just going to move them all the way over oh just on time like tobias actually 
read our mind. We have upgraded another export good. So snake eyes, is that how it is? There you go. Our sand production now on the other side of Crown Fools. And with that, we can make this whole area enabled. The class makers, let's actually move them over there too. Yep, yeah, that's looking better. Uh, probably like so, so they have a direct road connection too. To those window makers here. And what I'm still missing here is a fire station. I've this mistake a few too many times now. No fire station close by. And I'm not doing that again. That's better. They have their uh, access here anyway to that to the market house or warehouse. There you go. So that's at least that. And now we have this whole area here for a good train station going then all the way down I'm here. I still need to quickly tag out something else and that is the cotton. Because with the improved cons uh, uh, demand, we do lack some cotton here. And I would really just go ahead and boost that. Price-wise, it's totally fine at this point. Move the fire station there, so I should be able to squeeze in three. We are able to squeeze in three here. Promise you that. Let's make it four. They're very cheap anyway. And this is always something that can be easily done. Let's also upgrade one of them. Your harbor is oh no. Attack. Always disrupted. Bovist, my fleet is close by. Workforce transfer. What do I have in Bovist? I have my clay production over there and my bricks. It's nothing too serious. It Your hopefully holds up. My ships are now moving. Attention to the Admiral. Oh. This could hurt. It's just... There's so many, there's so, so much space on the map and it's so hard to predict the next attack. And you just focus on one production chain and in the very next moment, she attacks where you don't expect it. It's right here in the center of it all. But she's not going to take over that island. She's too slow for that. Just watch it out. I mean, this is, yeah, just normal ship of the line here taking a lot of damage. And there is my fleet already moving in. Perhaps we get a good loot out of that even though by now I've given up on that. Other than soap and potatoes, there's not much coming up. There's another thing I want to do as well. Um, there's always something in between before I can lay out my trains. Uh, but I promise you this, we're going to see trains in this episode. I would like to change, um, instead of potatoes, we're going in here with schnapps now directly, right? So um, we have upgraded soap, so now the ratio is really good for schnapps. Uh, let's just check it out real quick how much we actually need. I think it's not that much. It's 700, 750 tops. Right, so if we calculate with 800, we have a nice, a nice buffer there. Um, actually, I can change it here, of course, um, with 800. And I would need around 400 tons of soap for that. Sounds much? It's probably not that much. We have a surplus right now of 400 already um, when we calculate the, the buffer time in. So we have plenty of that. We can afford this. And with that, first of all, the volume for soap is going to increase further. And also, I no longer need my schnapps distilleries. Um, I think we're just trading right now with Tobias. Or is he already on its way back? He's departing already. All right, so it's going to take a while again. But I think we just got a lot of potatoes in. Yes. So I'm going to wait for that. Wait right until we've depleted all the potatoes. And then I can go crazy with that. So then um, I'm going to delete my schnapps distilleries that we still have. Uh, for the grain though, I need to keep it. Because grain we need for several things. Um, not only one production chain. So bread and beer. Um, so getting the raw materials in for grain is the way to go. One thing, though, um, what we can do is we can go ahead and boost my my picks there a bit. We'd be able to yeah, somehow like that. I'm very sloppy here with my farms, and there's a good reason for that. We're not going to keep them for a very long time. Plus, I really can't bother with too much beauty building right now in the initial phase. That's four more. That means four more uh, rendering works for our sausage production. And uh, for my sauce, uh, for my soap production, sorry, right, and two more soap factories. And with that, the whole inner area is finished. A bit of more soap coming in uh, for that. And by the way, the more people we upgrade, of course, to artisans, the less soap, the less uh, schnapps I need, especially. So schnapps is the important thing here, and I can further make it a bit easier there on my trade, on my docklands. Um, there you go. But that slowly but steadily now the whole inner area, as big as it is is starting to look like 
artisans only. Um, there is probably the marketplace, which is here. So let's make this connection there complete. They do lack access to the marketplace, which is right around the corner. I just had this area available there. Uh, perfect. Five happiness, at least from financial powerhouse, because we have so much income. So I only need to use two propagandas there. I can save a bit of influence, right? So we are 20 influence now. Um, and with that, let's build another royal warship and another one. We can't bother with having too few of them. Right, there's more, more movement here again. We need to be careful. Get my ships again a bit closer to Catesta. But also that they're within reach of Bovist, which, by the way, needs some repairing here. So we do need a bricks and steel beams from one of my royal clippers that is waiting. And yeah, we also will need to fix the trade rods here soon. Yeah, lots of lots 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 of stuff that needs attention. Unfortunately, when you're constantly under pressure by the opponent, Ship it's not always easy attack. to keep everything in track. I'm sorry for that right now. There is another smaller attack, and there is another Masant coming in. Um, let's divide the fleet there a bit and take three ships to the corridor. I need to, I need to do this to have more presence in more regions. This is all just Benta, right? It's very hard to distinguish Benta from Masant because they have such a similar color. And there is the old hag with her ships. Yeah, and there is... No, that's just spent as well. Perfect. And I think this is just... No, this is royal warships, but they're going down very quickly. Just try to take them out here. As we can see, they're getting spread fire here, right? So splash damage. Because they're too close together. One is down, and this one will also go down, and we can already take the loot in here with us as well. Boom. Very good. Uh, some sugar and antiseptics, also something that we don't really need. And let's get them back down here because they can repair. Now, on to my oil industry. We're going to have the oil harbor down here. And what I need to do now is I'm going to lay out the tracks all the way from up in the north. All the way down here to this oil harbor, right? We're starting out with those tracks. And I'm now going to get this one all the way over there to my to my fields of oil, where we can then use one oil refinery for all of them. See you in a bit. Okay, with all of this now, we have a fully functional train line from up there to the harbor. Let's build the the thing itself right away. We should be able to afford everything. 50,000. Yeah, right. There it is. 50,000. Some building materials. And boom, it's working. The tracks are already there. The only thing we now need to do is still also build the oil harbor. There you go. And with that, we have now a fully connected oil harbor going all the way up here now to the re uh, refinery. And we should be seeing some numbers here now. We are probably going to 600% for this as starters. And since, yeah, we only have one refiner, we can just really easily boost this one, this one's effectiveness in the future. Um, I'll le I'm leaving some space here between the, or uh, beside the, the tracks here, right? So this is going to be another double track. Um, and of course, the goal is to have double tracks so two trains can commute at the same time. Here we do have then that space available as well to continue with that into the area itself. And choo choo, there we have it. The first trains are on the way. Of course, it's just an oil train for now. No passengers yet. No train stations yet other than the refinery and the oil harbor. But with that, the start has been laid out with its foundation. With that, we can now finally start with electricity then, finally. Now, this one is moving now quite some distance as we can see. And I would probably like to start them with some basic um, electricity industry. Yeah, right here in the in the oil harbor where we can we can start with that this is the first area that i'm going to electrify as always it all starts with a power station right here in the center then um there's the train then going through and around it then we do need the industry that requires it so my canned food production as it's really expensive and i don't want to have any further uh, canneries that we build we are already at the limit of canned food i think yeah we're already negative so this will be the first industry that profits from the boosting the second one will be of course now my pay farthing production 
the next very important thing. Um, one of them is producing four per minute, right? Um, and we do need around five per minute right now. So two of them will already supply everything that we have. And four of them as a maximum will supply then um, a big town because we are, of course, also going to boost it. Let's also move uh, some of those four dealers um, over to this area for now. By the way, this area gets also boosted with this. Um, and then we have this road over there. And as we can see, it is affecting the whole area. We can still boost it. And also with paved roads, we can get further than that. Now, let's go ahead and have the... Wait a second. The other thing that we wanted here is actually our... In the material section is the steam motors they're a bit bigger right so this this is a pretty big um industry um and we can as we can see squeeze in quite a few of them as we should um also here and then we have a tiny bit of space available then for another industry this one actually let's make this room available there so that we can move it a bit further inbound leading to a bit more space on that side um and then we have our i think we can actually move the penny file things right next to them and also up here, some two more. And I think here we should be able to squeeze in another one that we can then use as well. So oh, there you go. Electricity in the center, boosting the whole industry sector with that. Uh, we go ahead with a first track system then from here right into the, the station. So this is actually a bit tricky to do. But it should be fine like that. And now we can have the crossing. Very good. Um, and in that case here... That is, of course, only the starters, as we will get rid of a lot of these artisan kitchens for more advanced industry. I'm not boosting my sewing machines yet, because that would just totally uh, crap up my, my steel consumption that I don't even have. So in that case, we are starting slow with that. The electricity, the power plant will then power my artisanal kitchens. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and build it right away. My power station. Range goes over there. We can extend the range with paved roads, so let's do this right away. Paving the road for everything here. We can also start with the first bicycle production then once the electricity is flowing. Another fire station that we really, really should have then here. Um, and I think that one... No, let's keep it like that because in that area we have the connection here, right? And they do have the connection. Very good. So everything has power. And I would really like to also have, yeah, a bit of an industrial wall here to wall off my industry zone. So we can just go ahead with this like so. And then we have a, an entrance point here that goes then into that zone. And then we just continue with that wall all the way over here to my cannery once more. Another block, another gate going then over here to my warehouse, connecting it like that. Another wall. And then here, this is a bit tricky. Let's actually make this one a bit different. Make it like so. Because then we can use a gate here for the, the tracks themselves as well. Right? And with that, we have blocked off the whole industry zone now. From Crown Falls itself. And this is non really pollution industry, right? So it's not really polluting the air that much. And it's fine to have it so close by. But of course, as always, it's not our final form in any way. Um, there's going to be lots of remodeling once we can afford it. Right now, I would play it a bit safer. And it's ending then somewhere over there, right? So in that case, we can make the connection complete. And those people are none the wiser what happens behind that wall. I mean, they will probably see the factories at some point, but that's that. This one is now waiting for some uh, some oil, right? The first batch of oil is just now coming into the oil harbor. Um, while we at it, yep, let's also upgrade this one right away so it has more storage capacities, as one of them, of course, will really just not use that much oil. Uh, we can go ahead and build the first bicycle production. Do we have now? We don't have the steel. Do we have caoutchouc already in? Yeah, we got the first caoutchouc in. And with that, I would like to start with the first bicycle factory then as well. I'm going to stop the bicycles for now, as I really don't need that so much. By the way, while we're at it, I think also, yep, we can purchase back those shares. No, I don't have influence. I don't have influence to purchase those shares. Mm, there's no way for me to get any more influence for now, though. So no, I can do, can't do this. Uh, coffee's also in. Let's unlock coffee for the engineers the next good and as we can see canned food is already suffering a bit and for that i will also need to bump up my pepper and beef production let's build the remaining four fields here 
And let's also build some four more cattle farms here. So this whole area. We do need more beef. We do need more red pepper. And because it's really cheap, let's just build the last one there too. No reason why we shouldn't do this. We probably will need to boost it then again soon anyway. Those people are not that unhappy to have a pop. Would boosting be possible? Yeah, it's, it would be okay, I guess. If I have police station right next to it, we could probably boost them by 50% then on top of it. But that's Ship for later. Alright, some more ruins there. Let's just make sure that all the districts are fully the repaired. They are. Beautiful. Very good. And I would also like to have a look at my docklands. Right now, if some of you have been pointing out, yes, um, now that I have upgraded my soap, it's a bit more worth it. So what could be more better uh, now is instead of potatoes, I'm just importing the schnapps directly. The ratio would be 1 to 2 for the... For the potato, it is 1 to 4, right? So we get way more potato out of the soap than if I would have to get the, the schnapps in directly. Bear in mind that the, the potato is consumed two times by the... Or is two times by the schnapps distillery, right? So that would lead to 1 to 2, actually, because it's reduced by two times. And if I get it in with that, we actually get the same ratio out of that. Right now, we have a consumption of schnapps of <laughs> quite a lot, actually. 700... Uh, every 20 minutes. Mm, yeah, with that, I would need to get at least 350 um, soap. Our soap production surplus is 400, so we could afford this. And with uh, the remaining soap, I can completely get rid of any kind of um, schnapps production that we need on this island. And bear in mind, also another thing that matters is that schnapps consumption is going to be reduced in the future now with more and more upgrades uh, from workers to artisans and, and back and forth. With that, Ship yeah, basically, attack. we do now have um, another industry obsolete. Uh, this is actually a pretty important trade route there. Once again, it's really out here. And there is a mishunt ship just leaving now, but it's fine. By the way, my ships have all been fully repaired. Let's get them in here. And we're going to stick to this area now with my main fleet, it, just in case mishunt tries anything else again. Um, those ships will be better here for now. Ah, there are some weapons here still in store, so I could probably continue with some defense system. But no mishunt at the moment anywhere to be seen. Attention for the Admiral. Very good. Also here, three ships now ready for action. Still cannot rebuild uh, or build any other ones. Now, the bicycle factory is ready for action. Electricity is flowing. My canned food production is boosted two times now. So we have a nice surplus now of canned food. Plus two. Very good. Thanks to electricity. And also my pepper and um, beef consumption, of course, is increased with that. But I've already counted that and it's still looking good at the moment. I think my fur coat is also boosted with that, um, which leads to a shortage of cotton. Um, cotton should already be coming in in higher quantities though. Um, just to make sure, let's just check it out there. Ooh. Yeah, we have a bit of a problem there with the rum, but the cotton is actually fine. We might still need to boost the cotton then. Not doing this yet though. Here we have a bit of a problem. There is unfortunately no fire station. Too close by, but that's no problem. We can repair it then. Cotton is the more important matter right now. And in that case, hopefully flows again soon. Right, so let's go back to Crown Falls. First bicycles are in, so we could also start now with that then. By the way, another thing I would like to do... Nope, let's not do this for now. That was my soap production, but that's fine. I didn't set them upon you. I didn't need to. Alright, yeah, four codes we need to check then. But yeah, another production finished with uh, that for my engineers. Money is still flowing nicely. Influence is the major problem right now. So far so good. Stay tuned. <laughs> 